held my nose, you held my skin, you held my toes, and for a while I was feeling alive. Good morning. Uh, it's Tuesday, 25th of June. Um, myself and Frank are still up in Glen Arthur. This is our fourth day walking, so today we are taking on Toll Craycack and Tom McCoynick. I think that's how you pronounce them. Um, and we are starting from Chisholm Bridge. So we're parked just up here, obviously. It's warm, a wee bit overcast. Uh, forecast is actually a wee bit better than, than what we thought it was going to be, so Aye, fingers crossed. Hopefully it should take us maybe between seven and eight hours today to do, do these two. So the path begins up here. This is just over an hour into the walk, it's about two mile covered, and that's our first sight. First man up here. There's me waterfalls rolling away there. Flanking path all the way in. Hydro path, shoot in, nice walking. A bit of light drizzle just now, hopefully it doesn't come to any more. Ah, looking good. On we go. So that's us after the hydro track now, cutting up onto the hillside. So, basically making our way up. You can see the waterfall just about the centre there. So we're kind of heading up to that low point and then start working your way up the, up the ridge onto the first main row. I think it's Tom Koenig. Um, and then basically work your way around the ridge. Second one, Tall Craigac, is or behind us. And come off that and basically come back down this way as well. So it still looks like a nice wee path. Pretty wet and boggy here, trying to get through this but So it's through the worst of it, that's better.
That's us, three mile in, and we have reached the wee cairn marker. So you're branching off, start going up, getting the, the ridge here, and then start making your way up. So it's quite kind of clagged in the tops, but the rain never came to much, it's not so bad. Steep pool coming up here, I think. We're getting somewhere now, we're getting somewhere. A couple of hours then, maybe three hours up for this one. It's sort of a, I think the next, <laughs> next stopping point will be just up at the, where the start of the ridge is there. Aye. Yeah. Yeah, I'll send into the clag. Aye. McClag. Claggy McClag face. That's a bit, we don't want to go for about 2 hours 20 and it's sitting about 700 metres so we are now heading into the abyss um, see we've got about another 400 odd metres to go so still a fair wee bit yet pretty steep going but a good path that's the rain well and truly on, so that's us doing the waterproof and ready to start heading up. So, on you go, Frank. Lead the way. Ah, you've got to live a full summit. <laughs> you're walking in the clag, you think you're coming up onto the summit, and then boom, it emerges from the abyss, another big lump. And I'm not talking about Frank, by the way. <laughs> How are you doing, mate? All right? Yeah, we're getting there, aye. We are getting One there. One step, step closer. Aye. Aye, it's fine, aye. One foot in front of the other. On we go. I thought we'd knocked it off. I thought this, I thought this was the summit up here, but <laughs> according to Frank, it's a wee bit further on, so. It's yet another full summit. Oh, we're having so much fun. <laughs> Finally! Come on. Toma Hoynik, 1,112 metres. By God, it's a steep one. <laughs> First one up to date. So the first one of the day, like I say, Tom Ahoynik, uh, 1112 metres. That was like three and a half hours to go up here. Um, 
as you can see it is a wee bit dreek and claggy so we're not hanging about here just going to move on to the next one uh, tall craigack i think it is so forward into the abyss we go yeah. It's a wee bit craggy and tricky going down there. That was a faint path, but thankfully there's a better one here. <laughs> so I'll take this all day long. There's still a couple of pockets of snow yet. So it's nearly the end of June. Welcome to Scotland there. Too wet to stop for lunch, so just a wee bit of chocolate on the go. We knoppers bar coconut. These things are bro by the way. Out of Aldi, I recommend them. Superb. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Anyway. So that's us at the, the lowest point between the two main roads. Um so we can mark her out. And we are heading up into <laughs> the abyss again. So I say we didn't hang about much there and obviously not filming a great deal, but we'll batter on, you never know. There's Franco! Lovely! <laughs> loving it, Murchie, loving, loving it! Loving it again, Murchie! We're loving it! Today. That's us, finally at the summit of the second mineral, uh, Tull Craigach. I like my pronunciation there, that was good wasn't it? <laughs> um, that was an hour between the two summits. So I've been on the go for what, 4 hours 50 minutes Frank? Aye, 4 hours 50 aye. So, you've got your summit cairn there and your trig point not sure what one's a high so we'll just cover all bases and then get the hell out of here oh there iron man <laughs> steady I need to get a selfie, no? Right. So, that's us. Covered the two, so we're going to get out of here. There'll be much film on the way back, yeah. unless it clears up on the way down. So, I'll bring you back later on. Cheers. This is where the GPS is worth its weight in gold. This is just a vast expanse, hey, zilch, no paths, absolutely no path whatsoever, featureless, you couldn't even look back out a, you know, a marker and say right, we'll never get to that. So, just a, a word of warning. For anybody that's thinking of coming to do them, GPS is essential, especially when the conditions are like this. <coughs> that's us finally doing out the clag. You can actually see where we're going. 
Got no force for getting down onto a path. That was absolutely, honestly, pathless, boggy, horrible. The other option would have been um, the wee cairn marker at the low point between the two. Basically backtrack through the second window all the way back to that and then there's a decent path uh, down that way. But that was about 45 minutes for the, the second. Um, and row, so can I wait no bad time? I saw us back down at the dam, uh, six hours to get back down here. Uh, you can see, still sitting in the clag. Um, we're just going to take on a wee bit of fuel and maybe it's a bit windy, but maybe try and put the drones up down through this area. No, it's so windy. So, I'll bring you back for that one. Cheers. That's us, fed and watered, on the walk out. Got a wet gear off and that, some a bit warmer on, so feeling good now. It's a nice steady walk out, um, pretty much same scenery as the way in obviously. So I'll bring you back at the car and I'll leave you, I'll stick up a wee bit of drone footage you know, that I took back there. See how you like that, okay? Cheers. I the burn Long to be a river I the river now Long to be the sea When I become the sea I'll cry for the clear gold stream As I drown in the dark blue deep So I'll rise up That's us, all done and dusted back at the car park. That was 7 hours 20 minutes and 11 and a half mile. Um, not the greatest of views, but yeah, some you win, some you lose. So that's me, you get 8 Monroes so far this trip, uh, 8 new ones. So we're looking at possibly doing the 4 up at Loch Malardock tomorrow. Um, obviously, we'll need to check the weather and that, see if it's feasible, but fingers crossed it's a goer. So all we have to do now is drive from here back up to Cannock campsite, get ourselves showered and shifted and go out for a wee bite to eat and maybe even a wee cheeky pint. Yes! So if you've watched this far, thank you very much. I will catch you on the next one. Cheers.